Well, you see, Tibet, even in pre-revolutionary times, uh, had been under the sovereign power of China, uh, even in uh, more backward times. Huh? And in 1950, uh, there was an agreement between the Dalai government and the, uh, and the uh, uh, new revolutionary government, the People's Government. Uh, there was an agreement that uh, Tibet uh, um, recognizes or uh, the, the, the sovereignty of China over Tibet was affirmed. No? And then at the same time, the People's Government uh, conceded autonomy. Uh, to the Tibetan people. Then in 1959, there was an uprising by this Dalai Lama who led by this Dalai Lama who fled, no? And uh, the people rose up, no? To overthrow the reactionary, uh, 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 reactionary leaders. And uh, uh, the the, up, the uprising had a democratic character. In what sense? It put a stop to this practice of slavery and torture by those in power. And uh, distribution of land became possible. Because the land, w w were, uh, land was dominated by the, by the Lamas. So uh, that's uh, the, what you call the restore invasion. Uh, the People's Army or, uh, sent by the central government uh, uh, corresponded with the people, Tibetan peoples, them, uh, Tibetan people themselves rising up <coughs> um, in in a democratic uh, revolution against the Dalai Lama. And for quite a while, it was the Panchen Lama uh, who was who was the standout uh, leader of the uh, the of uh, the Tibetan people. Uh, more, most important thing to understand is the uh, social uh, cause and uh, the social revolution that occurred as a result of the overthrow of, uh, of the uh, uh, Lama's old style. No?